Hey guys, this is Andy Chatfield. I am here today to show you how to upgrade the firmware of your PTZ Optics 20X USB G1 camera. Um, if you are unsure if you have a G1 or a G2, if you look at the bottom of the camera, it should have, if you have a G2, it should have G2 written in the model number. And if you have a G1, it should say nothing. It should just say PTZ Optics 20X USB. So the first thing we're going to do here is open up this folder and go into our USB section. And we're going to run, we have two different files we're going to apply, and we're going to use this program to apply them. I will admit this program is a little buggy, so just work with it. It likes to take your background. and um, So I'm going to stay on the USB section here. I am going to query version to make sure I have a successful connection, and I'm going to add a file. I'm in 12x USB. I want to be in 20x USB. G1, open it up, go to the USB. This is the disk image file I want to use. And now I am going to hit upgrade. I do want to mention before I hit this that as soon as you start any of these upgrade processes, if they get interrupted or canceled, it can cause damage to the camera in the, in the sense that the camera, whatever output you're working on can no longer work. We're working on the USB here. If we interrupt it, the USB output of the camera could be non-functional. So just make sure that you're not going to have Windows updates going. Make sure you're present for the duration of the upgrade. It should only take about 10 minutes. Um, and make sure that nothing happens that will interrupt that process. No Windows updates, nobody working on your network, no anything like that. So once all that's set, we are going to hit upgrade. And this should take about a minute or so. So once this is done here, USB firmware upgrade is complete. We are going to switch this up to the FPGA. Go to add file. And we're in our USB folder for the 20X. So this is the file we want to use. We're going to do the same thing, upgrade. And this should take about a minute to complete as well. So now that the FPGA firmware upgrade is complete, we can go ahead and exit out of this program. We've done two thirds of our upgrade. We're gonna go back out of the USB folder and into the SOC folder. And now we are going to run this upgrade program. I should mention for the USB cameras, you do need to have the USB connected as well as an IP connection because we will be using this to find our cameras on the network and using the IP address to upgrade the cameras. So I know for a fact that my camera is 111.87. The first thing I'm going to do is back it up. This doesn't actually back up your settings on the camera. This backs up some specific information on a, a chip inside that can get corrupted during the process, and we just want to make sure that we back it up and apply the correct version after it's all said and done. So I've backed it up now. I am now going to upgrade the query to make sure I have a connection. I'm going to go to MTD. I want to open. I want to find my disk image file. This looks right. 20x USB firmware G1. That's what I want. Open. Upgrade. So this will completely wipe all the settings of your camera. Make sure to remember this IP address because you'll need to set it back to that as soon as this is done. Um, as you're seeing, it'll shoot up to 85%. It'll sit at 85% for four or five minutes. The camera is going to reboot. 
and then it'll go to 98%, and then it'll reboot again, at which point the firmware upgrade should say it is complete. Um, so as of right now, we just got to wait a few minutes for the camera to reboot twice, and then to give us the successful message. The camera just rebooted for the first time. My camera is just rebooting for the second time, so it should be just about ready to be complete. There we go. Upgrade success. My camera should have defaulted back to its default IP address of 192.168.100.88. There it is. I'm going to change it back to the IP address it was when I made the, the copy of the backup, which is 87.111.87. I'm going to set. And again, I'm going to have to wait for it to show back up after it reboots. I just put it in delusion. It should be coming back at any point in time here. Here it is. So now I'm going to go to the backup, and I'm going to restore. It will reboot again in this process as well. Wait for it to say successful. There we go. Backup success. So, so now we are going to test our IP feed. We are good. We're just going to use VLC to pull in an RTSP feed real quick to make sure it's working. VLC, what's going on? Try that again. There it is. So that is my live camera feed. And uh, yeah, this is how you upgrade the firmware of your G1 20X USB camera. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please contact us at ptzoptics.com. 
and uh, I will catch you guys later. Bye now.